This video is about replacing sheared flywheel keys on walk behind mowers. Uh, it's a common problem and it happens when the cutting blade on the mower hits a large object. Uh, the, all the energy in that rotating flywheel is suddenly transferred to your flywheel key and causes it to shear. Uh, when this happens it throws off the timing so your engine no longer runs. Uh, it's a pretty easy repair. It just involves uh, basically removing the, the blower housing and the flywheel and then you can get to the key and replace it. This is a Briggs & Stratton 650 series engine L head. Um, to get to the flywheel we need to remove the blower housing and to get to that we need to remove this piece which is a basically a decorative piece held on by two screws. Get that out of the way. Uh, then we need to remove the gas tank which is held onto the blower housing by four bolts. Three of them are on the top here. The fourth bolt is on the side here, so if you can see it, um, it's right at the bottom here. Once you get all the bolts holding the gas tank on, you can move that out of the way. Um, you can probably get away with leaving it connected to the carburetor. Should be okay. This is your this is your starter recoil, which is connected to your blower housing. Um, this will remain attached to the blower housing. Just need to remove the housing. Um, that's held on by two bolts up front and uh, two bolts in the rear. Bolts in the back are uh, right down here. It's one, and there's one over here. Once you get all the bolts off that hold on the housing, blower housing, uh, you can remove the, uh, you need to remove the um, uh, dipstick and conduit. Just pulls out. Now you can uh, take off the housing. This is your flywheel. It's held on by a nut. Um, the nut side is uh, f the size is 15 16 so You're going to want to remove that nut. Um, to hold the flywheel, as I'm turning the nut with a ratchet and socket, I use a strap wrench. Briggs and Stratton sells special tools you can buy to do this, but this works just fine. Once you get it loosened, take it off, remove the nut. And let's see. Now you've gotten this far, you can see the key, which is right here. This key is not sheared. 
Um, I was just using this mower to demonstrate how to, how to replace a sheared key. Um, if this key was sheared, it would be in two pieces. Um, but as you can see here, it's, it's, it's in one piece. Normally to get these flywheels off, and the best way to do it is to use a flywheel puller, but for some reason on this particular flywheel, uh, the, the holes where you would attach the puller are not threaded. So another way to get this off is to reattach your flywheel nut and put it down, screw it down just far enough to where it's slightly above the end of your crankshaft. Then take a large screwdriver or a pry bar, place it underneath the flywheel, apply just enough force to lift, slightly lift up on the flywheel, and then gently hit the end of this uh, crankshaft where the nut is that you just put on, and that, that'll break it loose. Once you got it broken loose, you can lift it out of there and get your damaged uh, flywheel key out. Um, remember this one isn't damaged, this is just for demonstration. After you, um, after you get it off, clean your, the end of your crankshaft. Reattach your flywheel. and insert your new flywheel key. After all that's done, you can start uh, reassembling. On this particular model engine, this flywheel nut needs to be tightened to 55 foot-pounds. So I reinstall the uh, strap wrench, make sure it's pretty tight, grab my torque wrench, and tighten it until it clicks. There you go. Once you get that on, you can start reassembling. Um, the first thing to go back on is the blower cover. Two bolts in front of the engine. And two bolts in back. After your blower housing's back on, you can reinstall your gas tank. Oh, one more thought. Before you install that, you need to reinstall your dipstick in the dipstick housing conduit thing. Now you can put your gas tank back on. 
make sure the lines are still connected, the gas lines, which they are. Three bolts back on top. side here. After your blower housing is reattached, reinstall this decorative piece, plastic piece with the two screws. And that's it. You're good to go. Thanks for watching.